saints it's sister with a testimony i am just so excited today because it's another day that the lord has made i'm gonna rejoice and be glad in it i have um really been looking at psalm 19 lately studying it breaking it down i want to share it with you guys psalm 19 is amazing all of the psalms are amazing all of the whole entire bible is amazing jesus the Word made flesh dwelling amongst us. Wow. I'll just never, you know, wrap my mind around that. But I'm glad to be a saint with a testimony. And I want to encourage y'all, get up and share your testimony. Somebody can get saved just by hearing what you've survived from. Think about it. If the Lord brought you up to it, saint, he's going to get you through it. So, long story longer. Let's dive into the Word of God. Father God, we just praise you today. We thank you for the glorious, amazing heavens that speak every single day of your majesty, of your greatness, of your worthiness for your creation to praise you. Father God, we give you glory. We give you honor. Yes, and we give you praise. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Saints, get excited. You're alive. You're on top of the ground. Think about that. You still have another minute to get it right. I tell you what, we could never measure up to the greatness and the glory of God, but through Jesus Christ, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Yahshua Hamashiach, Jesus Messiah. I can do all things through Christ because he strengthens me. So I'm just declaring and decreeing today, ow, hit my knee, according to the word of God, that you will get up and go testify about how glorious God is today. Just get some, whoo, get some passion up in you today. Glorify God. I love the Lord and I love his word and I get so excited about sharing it with you. So, Father God, I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, and I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over y'all to hide, protect, and keep you. Psalm 19, the first six verses. There's so much meat you could eat for a whole week and never get hungry. But uh, if y'all are like me, I stay hungry and thirsty for the Lord and for the Word of God. And I just want to remind you that the word says that if you hunger and thirst after righteousness, you're going to be filled. So Psalm 19, 1, the heavens declare the glory of God, Yahuwah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The heavens declare the glory of God. Okay, now if you want to break that down in Hebrew, if the heavens declare the glory of Yahuwah, God's glory is declared Hebrew Safar the heavens recount mark tally number out and scribe such as writing okay you know get your little pen and write that one out saints the heavens declare they write out in picture form every morning the glory of God. Woo! So that first sentence, we haven't even finished the first verse, and we could preach a month on that alone. Think about that, saint. And the firmament shows his handiwork. So think about that. I could write a book on that. The heavens, write it out, spell it out, declare it. Every single morning it's new. The glory of God and the glory of God rests and resides on you. Just like I got a little yellow on my head tonight. Mm -hmm. Think about that. If I got some yellow up here, the heavens are seriously declaring the glory of God every time that sun rises, that beautiful sunshine, that beautiful, glorious sunshine. After all this rain, Woo! We thanking you, Lord, for the glory of God showing up every morning and putting some light in this earth. It cancels out the darkness, saints. So the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. 
day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Saints, the firmament shows his handiwork in creation. Think about that. Just let that sink in just a minute. Hebrew Nagod to front, to boldly stand out, to manifest, to certify. If the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork, the firmament, when you, you look at it and you see it, if you have physical eyes to see, look with the spirit eyes and let him really reveal to you what's going on in the heavens. It boldly stands out to you. Boldly stands out. Kind of like this yellow is kind of bold today. Yeah, just one verse. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. When you, you move on here to verse 2. Day unto day utter a speech. Utter. To speak. Uh, to, to, to make that noise. That sound. Naba. To gush forth. To belch out, okay? Yeah, let's whoa, belch, just whoa. The heavens just, oh, there it is, you know? God is just mm, spewing it out on you. He pours it out on you. He utters abundantly in that day, the daytime when that sun comes up and there's light, it canceled out the darkness. Day and day utters speech, and night unto night shows knowledge. Wow, that is so cool. Night show knowledge. Hebrew, Shava. The night declares and shows and indicates the glory of God. Think about that, saints. If the heaven declares the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork, and then the daytime is like just speaking forth, it's, it's just right there for you to see and the night it literally shows you the knowledge it's like okay god this is so cool verse three there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard saints there's there's no speech or language on earth that this is not understood there's no hidden language that cannot understand the sun rising, the sun setting. There's no nation on earth. There's no tribe or people with tongues or different languages where the heavens do not declare the majesty of God and his glory and his handiwork. Just those first three verses, it's like I can't get them out of my mind because... It doesn't matter if you're an aborigine or, you know, Bushman. Um, I don't know, on some deserted desert island somewhere and you've never heard about Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Messiah. You've never heard about God, our creator. Look in the heavens and you'll see that there's a creator. You will hear... In your, in your soul, it's like there's a God in heaven. Somebody had to do this. It just didn't spontaneously exist. The, the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. There's got to be some amazing mind behind all this. You know, a designer. Mm -hmm. So somebody had to design my dress, right? Okay. Uh, they had to figure out how long the sleeves should be and, and, and how the neck would be cut and all of the little sequins that are so intricate. Somebody designed this dress. Yeah. And the somebody that designed this dress was designed by somebody. His name is Yahua. Hello. God in the flesh. Yeshua. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit living up in you and me. Gotta make you think, saints. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech and night unto night shows knowledge. There is no speech or language where 
their their voice is not heard. Now, I love this part. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. There is no place in the entire amazing creation of God that the heavens are not declaring his glory and his handiwork. He literally has set his tabernacle in the sun, in the heavens. In the King James Version, it says, Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the, the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun. In the ancient Aramaic Peshitta, it reads on this wise, saints, Their good news, the heavens, mm, the firmament, the sun, the moon, the stars, has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. He has set his tabernacle in the sun among them. Wow. If you want to know the Lord, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. He's right there, saints. He's right there as close as your breath. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know about y'all, but this is exciting. Verse 5, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Just as that sun comes up every single day without end, world without end, amen. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. The sun is glorious and God holds that sun the, you know, the star that we um, all kind of rotate around, the planets, okay? Here's the sun, and we're all out here rotating around it. He set that sun in the heavens to give us life and life more abundantly. His son, Yahshua. The devil comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came that we might have life and life more abundantly. God set all this in motion through his spoken word, the sword of the spirit, spoken word. I know your King James Version says the word of God. But saints, you can thank the word all day long, but until you start speaking it and putting some life behind it and some oomph behind it, it's just a thought in your heart. Saints, the spoken word of God brought the worlds into existence. Wow. Think about that. Verse 6, his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Now that's the King James Version. Check out the Peshitta. Verse 6, his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends thereof. And there is nothing hid from the mist of his breath. Wow. I don't know about y'all, but when you start learning the true word of God and you start diving into the word, you just, mm, I just pick this Bible up, just dive into it. It's like, oh, yes, I want to eat. Yum, 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 yum. Fresh manna, saints. It doesn't matter what version you have. If you got your heart right, you're going to figure out how to understand the Word of God is through the Spirit of God. Okay, the Logos is printed. This is the Logos. But when the Spirit, the Ruach, when the Holy Spirit, mm, woo, yeah, then you get it. And you want to break it down and you want to know what these words mean, saying, And you want to know the rest of the story, okay? His story. History. Hmm. His story. His history is right here. Your story is right here in the Word of God. Your book has been written. There's, a, there's scripture that says um, that Jesus came... And the, the book and the, the number, I mean, it's written about him, this whole book. And, and it's written about you too, saints. 
if you'll just get in this word and dive in, six blessings from heaven in the first six verses of Psalm 19. This is awesome. Get this. The heavens declare God's glory. They show his handiwork. Number three, they utter, they gush out speech. Not speech that is heard with a physical ear. You got to have spirit eyes and spirit understanding. You got to have the spirit of God in order to have a spiritual eyes and spiritual ears and a spiritual voice. You got to be born again. So they declare, the heavens declare God's glory, show his handiwork and utter, gush out speech. Not heard speech. Spirit speech. They show, manifest, they manifest knowledge. The heavens message are universal. There's nothing on earth, there's no one on earth that cannot understand this message unless they want to. They give life to earth the heavens. Now think about that. If they give life to the earth, who's behind the life? <laughs> ah! Jesus came that we might have life and life more abundantly. The sun, that glorious yellow, orange fire, that ball of fire, mm, gives life. If we were a millisecond off on the rotation or a little bit closer to the sun or a hair's breadth further away from the sun, we wouldn't exist. How perfect and amazing is that? He hung the sun, the moon, and the stars by his spoken word. I don't know about y'all, but I know there's more blessings from the heavens if I'll sit and count them, but these are just the ones stated right here that's in plain language for you to understand. So if you're born again, you can get this. Woo, let that beautiful, glorious sunshine, this color, you know, yellow, orange, whatever color you see it as. Let the sun bless you, S-U-N. Let the sun bless bless you, S-O-N, mm. and give God the glory. Give God the glory. Oh, give God the glory. Give God the glory. The heavens declare the glory of God. You were sent from heaven. I was sent from heaven. And we're supposed to be declaring the work of the Lord and giving him glory. Mm -hmm. Get that, saints. Embrace it. Mm, mm. Just say, mm, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God in the flesh. Wake up, saints. It's time. Let the sun, that beautiful yellow, orange sun, shine on you. I'm going to shine, shine, shine. Woo, come on, saints, sing that. Make a joyful noise. Get up and do something for Jesus. Yeah, you know, UPS, the brown trucks with the gold letters. Mm-hmm. Think about that. What can brown do for you? It's always... Hmm. Bring me stuff. Give me stuff. UPS, why? Ups, why? I'm going to look up from where my redemption draws nigh. And it's no longer going to be what Brown can do for me or what anybody can do for me other than what the Lord can do for me, what the Lord can do for you, and what you should be doing for Him. Okay? Don't just be a taker. Be a giver. Hmm. Maybe that's what UPS is talking about. Hmm. Look ups. For your redemption draw off nigh. I don't know. It's what commercial that they were doing some years back. What can Brown do for you? Uh, 
bring me packages? How about the Lord, saints? I'm off on a rabbit trail. Come on back, Leslie. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. It's a mighty dandy deer, eh? Like that, don't you? Uh-huh. Ain't he pretty? So, now that I'm back off the rabbit trail, oh dear, just want y'all to know that it's not what the Lord can do for you, but what you can do for the Lord. It's not what UPS can do for you. Mm -mm. It's all about what you should be doing. Yeah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. And he will give you mm, the victory. Whether it's a 12-point buck or, you know, delivery packages, delivered packages on time, whatever. God can do anything. Because he's God. He hung the sun, the moon, and the stars. And they declare the glory of God. They show his handiwork. And they speak to you daily. Okay? So, whether you're wanting a job or hmm, you want to go hunting and get some food or just a trophy. You know, what is your heart's desire today, saints? Mine is is to, to declare the gloriousness of God and to praise God and to worship Him in spirit and in truth. It's not about what I want anymore. It is about what God desires. So I declare and decree over you, to God be the glory, to God be all the honor and praise and worship. Yahuwah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The heavens declare his glory. So I'm praying that you will declare his glory and you will be about his work. Let the sun, S-U-N, shine on you because the sun, S-O-N, has shined on you and brought, he, he has completely drawn you and brought you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. So saints, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. It's not about what someone can do for you it should be about what you can do for the lord whatever your heart's desire is if you will trust the lord he will give you the desires of your heart look up for your redemption draweth nigh and the sun the moon and the stars they all speak to you daily give god the glory is sister with a testimony. I love the scripture. There's more in uh, Psalm 19, verse 7 through 11. Uh, we're going to talk about the six titles and the six blessings. How about in verses 12 through 14? Prayer, five requests, six blessings. Now think about that, saints. Mm. Without prayer, nothing's going to happen, saints. So be prayerful, declare the works of the Lord, share your testimony, let your supplications and prayers be known unto the Lord, draw nigh unto him and he will draw nigh unto you. God bless you, I love you, it's sister with a testimony to all you other sisters with a testimony, saints with a testimony, God bless you, I love you, ask God today, what can I do for you, Lord? I love you. God bless you. Sister with a testimony. Later.